And the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 pageant just got way, way, way more exciting with the entry of pageant veteran Christy McGarry this year. And I am just so, so happy. I know we have had a major issue with the removal of age limit in Miss Universe, but this is one development I won't mind seeing here in Miss Universe Philippines as a result of this. Yes, you're hearing it right. Former Binibining Pilipinas title holder Christy McGarry comes out of her retirement, quote-unquote retirement in the pageant scene to give her Miss Universe dream a one last push. And my gosh, I cannot take it anymore, guys. Grab it just when I thought that she is already content with her life now as a DJ and a businesswoman. Turns out she is still nurturing this dream of competing in Miss Universe. And to be honest, I don't mind seeing older women like her joining like Miss Jocelyn Pilarski and her now in a still very competitive and true to form. Like, they don't look their age at all with Christy now 33 years old. So, na -e excited talaga ako, guys, for this forthcoming Miss Universe Philippines pageant. As in, I want to cover and follow all the activities of the pageant starting right now and see what the girls like Christy McGarry have to offer this time around. To be honest, the moment when I found, when, the moment when the Miss Universe Philippines Tagig Organization invited me to grace its sashing ceremony three weeks ago, and made known to us pageant media in the GC that Christine McGarry was going to represent us, uh, to represent the gig in this year's pageant, as in I really lost my marbles and immediately posted about the sashing ceremony schedule while giving some hints about her on my caption on Instagram. And grabe guys, seeing her come back just it's so, so different. Ibang level talaga yung kilig ko to see her because even up until this day, I still really remember her sterling performances in Binibining Pilipinas and Miss Intercontinental way back in 2015 where she almost won after competing in that pageant twice. So the moment she finally showed up on her sashing ceremony yesterday, kilig na kilig talaga ako as she was going up the stairs until she sat on the stool provided for her in the front. Christy McGarry was such a stunner in her La Rajo Laurel metallic pleated cocktail number which I likened to her to showing a different narrative on her Filipino identity and culture. Now her outfit just screams fresh classy, exciting, and at the same time, nostalgic, just like her candidacy, diba? Then she wore her hair in a high ponytail, which I feel has, become, has been her strongest look ever since. And so she really killed it there, and I'm so kidding. I could be actually looking at our girl for the next Miss Universe edition. Kidding. And... As she finally sat on her seat to field questions from us in the pageant media, we can't help but remind ourselves how eloquent she is as a candidate. When she answers her questions, napansin nyo naman, it's always direct, to the point, and no beating around the bush. Her answers are very natural and spontaneous, which I attribute to her American upbringing. And I really like that, diba? Na no classic motherhood statements, no highfalutin words. She just answers your questions straight as it is. Even her voice modulation is very, very commanding. The way she speaks, it easily grabs your attention. So there's power right there that she's establishing for herself in relation to her, to her audi audience. That the moment she speaks, she re the moment she speaks, hold and grabs that microphone, she easily pulls you in talaga. Siguro, now, if there is one mi minor critique that I would like her to pay attention to is how fast she could be when she talks. Yes? We love her regardlessness, but I hope she also kind of slows down with her answers so her audience, including you and I, can understand her more. The masa can understand more because as much as we would like to look far ahead that she could really be the one, she still has to appeal to the masa of our country as she has to compete for the MUPH title muna. And it's one glaring observation that I am seeing right now. No doubt we're seeing Christy, the natural Christy right now. And for me, there is no problem with it. But for others who might question her Filipino-ness because of her American surname, accent, and upbringing, well, 
this could be a valid concern or question for them. So it is in this reason that I feel Christy has to be more in touch of her Filipino roots this time around by speaking, by perhaps speaking more in Filipino. If she could inject more Filipino words, infuse Filipino words or sentences in her answers every now and then just so she could, she could appear more Filipino to us pageant fans, then the better. Because guys, she can speak Filipino naman, diba? But it's just that she is not bringing out when she talks to the press. Because probably she, she is more fluent in English, and I get that. But sige, from my part as a pageant media, as part of the pageant media, I will try to engage her by trying to ask her more in Filipino questions. You know, ask, ask, ask her questions in Filipino. So it's something that so it's something that I really miss highlighting during the sashing ceremony. So I would also do my part as a media practitioner to bring out her Filipino side. Actually, so to lang guys, this kind of criticism is no longer new to the to beauty pageants like Christie because back in the day, both Pia and Catriona also faced the same challenge during their, during their respective candidacies in pageantry. Pia has been a Tagalog speaker having lived here since she was a kid despite having a foreign surname. So she was able to deal with it right away. Catriona naman for her part remedied this by peppering or injecting Philip injecting more Filipino words in her press interviews and at the same time studied our history and culture through the outfits that she eventually wore for Miss Universe. So in Christy's case, I would love for her to speak more Filipino every now and then kasi marunong naman talaga siya eh, just so she could appear more relatable to us. Kasi, alam mo yun, alam, yun ang hinahanap ng Filipino audience eh. And that's one big difference I think I would like for her to show uh, to show this time around. And that should extend to also how she will showcase her advocacy to us, which is sustainability for the environment and tourism. It, kasi it's really, it's really one topic that is very close to us Filipinos because we are one country that is hardest hit by climate change. So she could probably break down her advocacy in slimper in simpler Filipino terms, so pageant fans could really identify with her or relate with her more. So in relation to this, let's go naman to her backstory. She is now a DJ, international model, and businesswoman apart from her resume as a pageant queen. And I love that she has done so many things beyond her pageant persona. And I don't know if this is a valid reason or concern that I am sharing that she should, more, she should show more of her growth in terms of her personal life on her social media just to establish a more impactful individualism. So there will be more things to talk about her, not just her pageant accomplishments. You get, what I, you get what I mean? Because checking out her Instagram account now, there is nothing much you can see except for her photo shoots, appearances from her modeling gigs, and it's something that we have already known about Christy since the last decade. However, on the flip side naman, just to defend Christy Ren at the same time, we are now in a different era. I reckon that we are now in a different era in Miss Universe. So I don't know if a great backstory is still crucial or, in, or an important ingredient in winning Miss Universe nowadays because if you check out the top three contestants who eventually made it to Miss Universe, they necessarily did not possess the compelling backstories. What we can probably collectively agree on is that the eventual winner, Miss Nicaragua, was a performer on stage. So we get her eventual win. And if we are to apply it in Christie's case right now here, no doubt, she will definitely perform on stage. But then again, I still would love Christy to establish a stronger individualism in all aspects of her candidacy, not just as a great performer on stage, but also with the different facets of her life. Because it's something that I learned from Michelle's Miss Universe campaign last year. It was a mininyo. It was so exciting to follow because of the many things that Michelle had shown us. Diba? She is a celebrity on top of her being a bisexual and an autism advocate. So there were so many things we were talking about Michelle that made us so excited to follow her Miss Universe journey, which we eventually converted to our desire to help her in the pageant's numerous online votings. And it benefited Michelle immensely in the end. 
Miss Universe got her for a live session that tandaan niyo about Pride, Pride Month on its YouTube channel. GMA was also fielding her in different shows as a contract star. And her charity organization, AAP, is busy sending her to numerous different events, whether for a talk show or charity event. So, ang daming facets, facets sa pinakita talaga ni Michelle na kinagiliwan natin. Kaya, ang ingay-ingay niya until she, she had to leave for Miss Universe. So, kasi, ang dami niyang exposure sa ganang sa gana. So, as early as now, it's better for Christy to create her social media account with the other aspects of her life that we haven't seen before. So, more brands, more sponsors, and institutions would be enticed to invest, invest in her candidacy. Diba? And so far, I think those are the things that I could think of right now in terms of what Christy has to improve for her current Miss Universe candidacy. And mind you, she can really address all of this if she wants to. Right now, I see her as a very strong candidate talaga na more prepared than ever. Kasi nakikita ko, we can see the maturity and the immeasurable confidence are so right there. Na she actually reminds me of Catriona and Michelle D during their second tries in pageantry. All of them were formidable, just like Christy. And probably it helps that she is being backed up by a strong and generous accredited partner led by the Cayetanos, which could really bankroll her different campaigns for MUPH in terms of funding. Tapos, her high-profile celebrity friends like Sir Rajo Laurel, Raymond Gutierrez, and Tim Yap could also really be instrumental in creating noise and hype for her right now. Raymond and Tim, with their clout and financial status, would definitely help in spreading more awareness about her when it comes to styling, creativity, and spearheading online no voting campaigns, de ba? And tapos, her friends like Pia, Celeste, and Michelle could definitely help her with her media exposures on GMA with so many things, de ba? And then there's La Sir Rajo. Sir Rajo and his fellow designers could create more pasabog outfits for her numerous events for MUPH and Miss Universe eventually. So what I'm pointing here is that Christy, with her strong individualism right now, could even get stronger with these funding, machinery, and connections, which I liken to how Michelle strategized her campaign last year. Because I mean, naman talaga natin, magasus talaga sumali sa Miss Universe Philippines and Miss Universe. And so, bubusogin talaga tayo ni Christy with all her pasabog outfits and paandars, left and right. So, doon, wala tayong question doon. But, but you know what, guys? To be honest, the biggest positive takeaway that I am getting from her is not so much about her confidence and maturity 2.0 in MUPH right now, but her humility. I never realized how Christy could struck me as someone very kind and approachable to pala up close and personal. So I posted a clip about her answer in one of the questions asked by my fellow pageant media practitioner, and I am stunned at how humble she is when she ended in one of her answers that she hopes that she could get more fan support and willingness to solicit feedback from them. And I think that's a sign of humility, that despite her American upbringing, she is still, she is already showing signs of willingness to go down to our level just so she could relate with us more. And I like that because for the longest time, we've always thought Christy as too alta given her upbringing, background, and outfits and right now she is really ready to please us because she knows that we are a very integral part of her journey if ever so nakakatawa talaga so overall i am really excited for for her it's just hits different when you see someone like her coming back to pageantry and i'm just so excited to follow her journey i'm really really excited because guys, look no further. Kung gusto natin ng Latina slayer sa Mexico as early as now, this girl could be it. I'm, I just really, really hope that she can sustain her momentum until May. So let's see.